I'm thankful for my neighbors that kept me calm. I'm thankful for the firemen. I'm thankful for everybody out here, really. Fire broke out in an apartment complex in Anderson late this afternoon. Fire crews doused the high flames coming from the roof of Huntington Apartments. The Red Cross was there helping out while that building was evacuated. 7 News reported Kirsten Glavin was there. 20 people are without homes tonight after flames shot out from several of these units. But for some, it wasn't about what was lost in this fire. It's about what was saved. <laughs> Lollipop is one lucky pup. He is an adorable puppy. Okay. She's been living with her owner at the Huntington Apartments for just one week. And when her unit went up in flames, she was trapped in her cage. I ran from the road all the way here, and they was trying to stop me, but I wanted my dog, and I didn't really expect to run up on the whole building in flames. So Hauling says she got a call around 4 o'clock that her home was on fire. The only thing on her mind, getting Lollipop out. I felt really bad, like I had her cage to die, really. And it was a Centerville firefighter that's saved the day. They put a ladder up and one got her down and they let me come run and get her. This cell phone video capturing the flames shooting from the roof. The property manager calling 911. I was outside speaking with some people that were installing some camera systems and doing some electrical work. The next thing we knew, there was smoke coming out of the roof of the building. The damage here is just incredible. You can see burned pieces of wood just like this all through the walkway. Firefighters say it came from the roof on the second floor. Eight units, a total loss. But for families like the Hollings and Lollipop, those items are replaceable. It's family that's not. The material things can be replaced, but the dog, I just felt like I couldn't replace her. Luckily, no one was hurt, and fire officials are now working to figure out what caused those units to catch fire. In Anderson, I'm Kirsten Glavin, 7 News. Well, we're certainly glad everyone's okay. Fire officials say they believe the fire started somewhere on the second floor, possibly in the attic.